global minimum tax, uh, minimum corporate tax or pillar two is important. I mean, it, uh, it checks the distortions in the system. Right now, if suppose some countries do not, what we call, uh, what uh, there are jurisdictions which do not have any tax. And therefore, the tendency is for uh, several uh, enterprises to set up structures there and park their income there so that it is not subjected to tax. And then there are several tools that are uh, that come into being to tackle this. And it's quite difficult looking at the information asymmetry and in dif difficulty in getting the information. And even the, uh, the legal tools may not be sufficient to tackle this kind of what is maybe these are abusive structures. So it, it's not always successful. So as a remedy to that, uh, the idea of global minimum corporate tax has been floated. It was there for quite some time. In fact, in the forum for harmful tax practices, this was being talked about about three, four years back when I used to attend those meetings. Now, uh, this is a welcome move, but let me say that this is not a substitute for allocation of taxing rights issue. These two are, I should say, mutually exclusive issues. Uh, we should not lose sight that global minimum tax will definitely correct the distortions. But at the same time, the issue of allocation of taxing rights, is, which is very important for developing countries, is a different issue. And that should not be, uh, that should not be uh, lost sight of when we, we pursue the goal of global minimum corporate tax. And there also in, in, the, uh, in uh, the Pillar 2 report, there are proposals of different kind to tackle the global minimum corporate tax. Basically what they do there is to tax, uh, allow taxing of income which is not taxed anywhere. And uh, there mostly there is one proposal to give the taxing right to the country of residence. But the other proposal, I'm not taking the technical names, we're looking, considering the, the, the audience we have. And uh, on the other hand, there could be taxing right given to the source country. So the latter could be important from the point of view of developing countries. So I hope that answers your question.